Welcome to Royal Secrets. Spider-Man with Tom Holland and Zendaya private encounter with Prince Harry and Meghan made public as the movie grosses £1.27 billion worldwide. But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. Who is the couple who is now receiving the most media attention? Despite how much the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would like to believe it, Tom Holland and Zendaya, a British actor and his American girlfriend, deserve the honor. Their leading role in Spider-Man, No Way Home contributed to the movie becoming one of the largest box office successes of all time, grossing £1.27 billion worldwide since its debut shortly before Christmas. I've since learned that Prince Harry and Meghan wish to share in the fame of the on-screen couple. I can tell you that the royal couple unexpectedly got in touch with Holland and Zendaya and requested a meeting. One of Harry's old pals tells me that Tom and Zendaya appeared to be somewhat perplexed. Tom didn't know what they wanted because he had never spoken to or met Harry. Nevertheless, the performers consented to meet the Montecito, California, family Sussex. According to the source, the meeting occurred. The fact that the two couples were able to host the gathering in total secrecy was a big accomplishment. It's unknown why Harry and the former actress Meghan were so eager to meet Holland and Zendaya, but it's possible that they were hoping to convince them to participate in one of their media initiatives. This week, it was revealed that music juggernaut Spotify was taking control of the Sussex's side projects production. The duo inked a £18 million podcast deal a year ago, but they have only created one show to date. Harry and Meghan would score a tremendous victory if they could get the world's most famous showbiz couple to appear on their podcast. Tom Holland was raised in Kingston-upon-Thames, 11 miles from Kensington Palace, where Harry was raised. His parents are comedian Dominic Holland and photographer Nicky. While Harry attended the £44,000-a-year Eton College, he went to a comprehensive school. The royal couple is renowned for aggressively courting entertainment celebrities. Some of Harry's old acquaintances were shocked to see well-known actresses and TV stars at their Windsor wedding in 2018 who they had no idea had ever met the prince. Princess Diana's former roommate Carolyn Bartholomew is rumored to have turned to Hollywood actor George Clooney and wife Amal when sat next to her at the wedding and inquired as to whether they knew Harry or Meghan. According to Rachel Johnson, sister of journalist Boris Johnson, the Cloonies reportedly responded, we don't. Health of the Queen Unstable's Country Levin, a royal analyst, supports the Prince Charles Regency plan, a royal analyst said that Prince Charles might take over as regent if the Queen's health suddenly deteriorates to the point where she may find it difficult to carry out her duties. Angela Levin, a royal authority, has endorsed the idea of appointing Prince Charles as the Queen's representative to rule on her behalf. Queen Elizabeth II, who is now 96 years old, has recently struggled with poor health, which has significantly hampered her mobility. Many royal observers have questioned the monarch's fitness to remain as queen after she was forced to skip a number of notable royal occasions, including appearances at her own Platinum Jubilee celebrations, due to health issues. The queen will not return to London to appoint the new prime minister in September, according to a statement from Buckingham Palace. Ms. Levin's revelations coincide with that statement. The comfortable feeling of consistency the Queen has historically provided, according to Ms. Levin, has been disrupted by the recent trash of last-minute alterations to royal appearances and ceremonial ceremonies. She stands for stability, and we're already in a difficult situation, so we don't know what's going to happen to her," she continued. I believe that her passing will be enormous, utterly enormous. I believe it could be a good idea to give it to Prince Charles in advance so she can unwind and take pleasure in her life in the country. He need not be crowned," she continued, adding that he may serve as a regent. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates.